right we're here and this one is worn right to the nut it doesn't get any more worn than this this should have been done probably four years ago that's actually the steel coming through but we're gonna make her brand new I want to show everybody something here. You see how worn this is on the bottom? Hey, that's actually the steel part of the tub. Okay? When you get down to this part, there's nothing left to do. You either reglaze it, but this is perfect for this, what we're doing here, or you replace it. But reglazing it is just as good as replacing it. Here's a tip for you guys right here. So even though like I blow and tack when I'm getting, getting ready to put my bonding engines on, I had a guy show me this. This is about the coolest thing ever. This is just tape inside out. Two inch tape inside out. And even though I blew intact, I want you guys to see this. See all the dirt there that came off? You get that little bit of dirt. Well, you just take this and go like this. And you'd be surprised. Look, at, I still got a few more specs on there. You'd be surprised what you picked up with that. Now, let's say your tub's like this and you can't afford to get a reglaze, okay? Reglazing from a really trusted refinisher would be your best bet. Okay, but let's say it's really hard to clean, it's rough on the bottom, and you can't afford to get it reglazed. Okay, the best thing that you could possibly do is you can wet sand it with 400. Get 400 sandpaper, 320 grit wet, and wet sand your tub until it's smooth. Now, you're gonna take some of the powder off, that's part of the porcelain that is on here, but it's coming off anyways. It's done at the end of the life. At least you can keep it smooth and clean if you do that. You know, it might get, it's gonna be warm like this, and it's not gonna be very pretty, but it's gonna be smooth and easy to keep clean. If you go and get one of the do-it-yourself kits, you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. And the reason why you're shooting yourself in the foot is because one, you have to clean it like this anyways. Two, it's going to fall off and it's going to peel. And three is it's not gonna be as smooth as like a reglazer coming in or how it is originally on the porcelain. What's gonna end up happening is you're gonna roll that stuff on, you're gonna brush that stuff on in the bad spots, it's gonna peel, it's gonna have a really terrible surface, and it's not gonna be able to clean as well. So you're you just might as well do this. If you don't if you can't afford to reglaze it, do this. This is your best and it won't cost like the reglazer who comes in when you do have the money to reglaze it isn't gonna charge you to do anything with this. This is what he's gonna do anyways. If you coat it, you're not helping him. He's gonna charge you more because he's gotta grind all that stuff off and it's a pain in the neck to take off. So if you don't have the money to reglaze it, wet sand like this so it's super clean, super smooth and it'll save you a whole bunch of headaches in the end. All right, back to reglazing this tub. So we are just getting ready here. We're gonna, we blew it, we tacked it. We did the tape trick to it. We're gonna save that for after our prime. So we're gonna put that right there where it's nice and clean. And then right now we're gonna put our wiper, our saline bonding agents on right now, make it super stick, then we're gonna prime it. All right, yeah. And we are all brand new on this guy. Look at this. All brand new. Look at this. Look at how smooth that bottom looks. Great, awesome, be very easy to clean. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. There's a reason why I do videos like this, guys. So that you can see firsthand, like this isn't just a picture taken from here. Like any tub that's reglazed will look good. But when you got somebody taking pictures and they're going like this, you can actually see the craftsmanship. We actually care about what we're doing. And this is just a government housing job. But I want this tub to last just as long as I did my neighbor's tub, I want their tub to last. I think I need a, I think, I think I need a haircut. Yeah, you're pretty bad. I'm looking pretty. Maybe I'll let it keep growing. See how high we can get it. No shortage of hair on top, that's for sure. 
Matthew Bath to Renew. We will see you guys in the next one, and we're going to it right now. We'll include that in the video. This one's done. We're out.